In today's reading of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister, we continue with Book 1, Laying the Foundation. This is Chapter 2, Section 9. What is underneath my physical addiction? Hi, David. What does the Course say regarding addictions? I am addicted to cigarettes and it has been impossible for me to quit. That sounds negative, but I have tried everything, from positive thinking to support groups and everything else. Part of me blames my lack of self-control or willpower. Is that really it? I just feel like there is something more going on here. I feel like my battle with cigarettes represents my battle with my ego mind. I was wondering if you have any insights regarding addictions. Thank you so much for all that you have given us. You truly are a blessing. Beloved one, Clearing the way to inner peace means exposing and releasing the belief in addiction. What seems to be a physical addiction, such as smoking, is always only a symptom of the mental addiction to judgment. And the release of judgment is the release of the ego. Judgment always involves concepts and comparisons. And this entire cosmos is built upon the premise of judgment. The being which God created, one is beyond judgment. For what is there to compare in pure oneness that is changelessly eternal? All specific judgments are an attempt to evaluate the self. Yet, the self God created is far beyond the possibility of evaluation. Wholeness is eternally complete. The belief in lack, therefore, is a belief in addiction. What seem to be physical addictions are covers or distractions from looking within and moving through the fear to the love inside. While many are aware that addictions feel like misery, the fear of looking within may seem more frightening to a sleeping mind than the thought of keeping the addiction. Yet, when the mind is willing and ready, feelings long repressed are allowed into consciousness to be moved through and released. This is the opening to healing and healing is synonymous with the release of judgment. As the heart opens, the love inside is revealed. While once it was believed that the heart needs protection, suddenly it is seen that the heart revels in extension. And with this opening, the love pours forth and flows without condition or limit. And the remembrance of true love ever-extending love is restored in awareness. Love is never absent. The only choice is whether to be aware of it or not. Free will is free forever and one with God. Choice and judgment arose with the belief that it was possible to separate. A premise of any choice is duality 
and the atonement or correction of error sees the impossibility of duality. What is one now is one forever and can never be split apart. As the mind looks inward, it is guided past the fear and guilt it once sought to hide and protect and guided on through to the light. I am joined with you in experiencing the light of love within. When the journey inwards seems intense and frightening, remember, this too shall pass. The release of error is worth the determination and the bliss of being free of addictive judgments and thoughts is unspeakably glorious. Here's to the looking inward. Here's to the letting go.